Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. How are you? How is your Tuesday going? Everything good? Yes, teacher. Everything good. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Um, so very good. Okay, really? Why? What happened today? <laughs> Is Aguinaldo already there? <laughs> okay, so I think that makes us very happy, okay. right? So, okay. Well, good evening, everybody. Gracias a todos por unirse. Thank you so much for uh, joining today. We are going to get started with session number 14. Okay, nos faltan solamente dos sesiones super cortitas. We are missing two stations. Y pues, eh, that's going to be it. All right. Así que les agradecemos a todos por la constancia up to this very moment. And un segundito. Give me just one second. Eh, in the meantime, please, me ayudan con sus cameras. Help me out with your cameras. So, um, let me activate mine. Okay, there it is. So give me one second here. Okay, there we go. So if you can be so kind, please, to help me with your cameras. Uh, let me see you guys. And uh, como lo hacemos todos los días, les voy a pasar eh, asistencia acá rapidito. All right, y me ayudan, please, con un present when I say, when I read out your name. Sorry guys, ¿me escuchan ahora? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sí, sure. Yes. 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 No sé si me escuchan. Deme un segundito que no los escucho. Escucha, okay, escucha. ahora sí, ya los escucho. Thank you. Okay, everybody. So, thank you so much for being here. Eh, les paso asistencia, like super quick. Y me ayudan con sus cameras. Please give me one second. Okay, so let me get started. If today is the, oh my goodness, what day is today? Today is the 15th, right? Yeah, okay. So I got this yes. mark. Claudia Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Awesome, Claudia. Edgardo Vladimir. Edwin Ernesto. Evelyn Carolina. Okay. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Thank you. Fatima. Francisco. Gerardo Alexis. Germán Mejía. Gracias. Gerson Rubén. Present. Thank you. Glenda Beatriz. Present teacher. Awesome. Thank you. Gloria. Jorge Alberto. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Jorge Naum. Perdón, Jose Naum. Carla Marcela. Carla Stephanie. Present. Present, Miss. Eh, Kelvin. Present. Thank you. Luis Mario. Present. Thank you. Maria Rene. Present. Thank you. Mirma. Nancy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alfredo. Roberto Antonio. 
present. Yeah, I think I saw you. Roberto Betancourt. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Elisa. Silvia Ivonne. Jessica. And Maria Angelica. Creo que vi a Maria Angelica conectándose hace unos segunditos. La logran ver. Can you see her? Yes, teacher. She, she's here. Yeah. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Ahí está. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody. So, thank you. Thank you for, for joining today. As I said before, nos faltan solamente dos clases más y terminamos module number one. Así que congratulations por llegar hasta este momento y por llegar hasta el jueves, right? Um, por ahí vi que estaban escribiendo en el grupo. Eh, ¿Alguien ha tenido dificultades con la plataforma? ¿Ya solventaron? ¿O necesitan ayuda con algún ejercicio que les esté dando dolor de cabeza? Yo tengo un problema. Sí, Char, yo no tengo empezar. problema. Uh, okay, so uh, no, we can me, can me be a teacher, but but, yes. but tell me. primero, no voy a decir yo primero. Soy Carla. Dígame, Carla, what is the issue? ¿Qué pasa? Yo estuve haciendo la plataforma y me tiré y terminé todos los ejercicios. Ayer me volví a meter, pero me tiró lo que hice un principio. Probablemente se haya registrado con un correo diferente. <coughs> eh, si le dio submit la plataforma se los, se los toma, right? Pero a veces tenemos, con, nos registramos como con dos correos, entonces se los toma como cuentas diferentes. Si gusta, revise. Y si no, al, ter, al terminar la sesión, eh, también voy a, voy a revisar para confirmar que no nos esté dando como una doble sesión y le van a aparecer ejercicios aquí y ejercicios acá, right? Yes, so, that's you. Carla. Eh, creo que escuché también a... Um, Claudia, si no me equivoco. Creo que escuché la sí. voz de Claudia. Sí, sí verdad. Dígame, bueno, yo no, yo no recibí una clase y honestamente no me he quedado como, como tiempo de ver esta clase. Uh -huh. Y como que tengo problemitas ahí porque no sé cómo contestarlo con respecto a donde dice qué tipo de ropa este, viste, algo así. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. he wearing jacket, algo así. Uh -huh. Yo no le he podido okay. contestar, no le he podido hacer, no hay cómo hacerla y no, honestamente, no le he dedicado tiempo, sí, para, de, bastante, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para poder este, guiarme de, de lleno. Sí, pero sí, comprendo, dígame. No sé, sí, porque no, no he visto el video, porque es la clase que yo me perdí, parece que jueves. De la semana pasada. Eh, la clase sí. es de una hora. Si gusta, puede revisar la clase completa o también tiene acceso a los vídeos. Entonces, puede entrar a la plataforma. El vídeo es mucho más cortito, ¿verdad? Right? Es de tres minutos eh, para que tenga comunidad de qué se trató. Ajá, ¿y cuál es el componente? Quizás es algo, un área gramatical la que le está haciendo falta. Eso es con where. Ajá. Probablemente sea presente continuo, probablemente sea algún posesivo que le haga falta pero puede eh, siempre referirse a los vídeos, que son muchísimo más cortitos que la, la clase completa. Uh -huh. okay. so podría Gracias. ser eso. Intentaré. Uh -huh. You're Intentaré. ¿Alguien tiene alguna dificultad con formatos? Que no le esté agarrando yeah. el ejercicio y ya probó una y yeah, 20 mil sure. formas yes, posibles. Sure. I have a problem with, with activity uh, 4.14. 4.14. Okay. Así, we address that y, y ya nos quedamos like, super ready porque la idea es que el día de mañana, eh, de ser posible, todos tengan ya completo, right? Y, y no tengamos dificultades. Teacher. Hello. Fíjese que yo estuve escribiéndole ahí a, a un compañero que nos, prácticamente nos hizo el contacto, pero le digo a él que yo no recibí nada. Le mandé mi correo nuevamente y yo no recibo nada. No sé sí. cómo podemos hacer ahí. Perdón, ¿no recibe nada de qué, mis? O sea, de correos. Él dice que me los manda, pero a mí no me caen. Y hoy estuvimos este, chateando y es más, le mandé el correo como era y nada, no, no, no recibo nada, no sé por qué. ¿Y recuerda el nombre de la persona no que la atendió? No, no, um, no. Ese, no, no tengo por acá, pero tendría que salir y volver a ingresar. No, sé, no, Bye. no se preocupe, si gusta, eh, ¿tiene, usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Pues creo que sí. sí. Bye. Si me puede confirmar y me ayuda, eh, 
Mándeme el nombre. So, busque mi número, Va. mándeme el nombre y así yo le doy seguimiento también con el compañero para ver qué es Va. lo que, en qué le okay. podemos ayudar. Ok, teacher. Los, eh, uh, porque, porque sí, es, es bien importante, es como fundamental que sí. las plataformas sí la podamos eh, Exacto. Right? Eh, okay, Jorge, estoy revisando el ejercicio. You're welcome, Angélica. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué dificultad le da con el ejercicio? ¿No le toma alguna respuesta? Yes, in the first answer, because the question is, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Mm -hmm. But in the image is dark, dark green. But the answer is no, he's not. Um, yo creo que Pero son los colores. No me ya, yeah, I would say yes. I would say the answer is yes. Se ve un poquito dark, pero creo que es cuestión de, de colores. You know? eh, con todo el brillo arriba, se ve light. <laughs> so I would say yes. Pero igual, pero I would igual say ahorita, yeah. eh, yo le puse sí también. Y también uh -huh. ya lo puse sin la contracción, con la contracción, el sí, mm. el no. Agréguele okay. eh, mayúscula a la primera, yes. Coma, ok, recordemos que hay como una especie de formato, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces probemos con esta, si, si no les funciona, termino. So, siempre que sea como yes, yes, coma, espacio, por ejemplo, yes I do, ¿verdad? Right? So, eh, en este caso podría ser el verbo be, yes, coma, I am, y un puntito al final. So, probemos, pro, eh, try that way, ok. Y me avisa si tiene la dificultad. Siempre coma, espacio, capital letter y un punto al final. And there you go. Ok, anybody else? ¿Alguien más, guys? Uno que les haya dado así dolor de cabeza. That you're like, yo probé punto, sin punto, coma, sin coma, and everything. No, you're good. ¿Alguien ya terminó? Has anybody finished? ¿Alguien ya le parece like 100% on top? Todavía no, yes. not yet. Yes, Roberto, did you finish? Yes. Ay, nice. Yes, sure. That's really good. Really. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna check. ¿Y ya le parece completado? ¿Le parece algo al final? Um, only the attendance. I okay. don't have a sense, 10% sense of attendance. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, well, hopefully, you know, you will get pretty close to 100% in anything. <laughs> well, in everything in this case, right? So, um, thank you. Thank you so much for finishing. Eh, igual mañana les doy un update de cómo, de quién me hace falta, right? Y si no, lo voy a estar escribiendo para eh, también comentarles por si alguna actividad no se las está tomando or something. Um, so, guys, being said that, let's go ahead with part of the things that we got for today. Eh, ¿Qué se recuerdan que vimos ayer? What did we check yesterday? Las horas. Yes, exactly. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about the time. Very good. Eh, ¿Tuvieron alguna dificultad expresando la hora? ¿Sienten que está difícil? Is it difficult? Is it easy? It's easy. Okay. Easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I like that. So that's very nice. So this is the objective for today. We are going to be asking and answering questions using time expressions and practice given the time. Yesterday, comenzamos un poquito con este tema. Today, we will continue and we will practice a little bit. As we always do, let's get started with the video that we have for today. Give me one second and I'm gonna share my screen. There we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. 
let's do it. Instead of 1 o'clock, we will say 2. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's 2 o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past 2. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to 3. Our last example, it's a quarter to 3 or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Okay, everybody. So yesterday, vimos un poquito del tiempo, right? In case uh, you missed yesterday's class, vamos una vez más and let's take a look. Usamos the clock para horas completas. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, etc. Uh, yesterday, veíamos in a quarter, veíamos in a half, all right, para indicar 15 y 30. But here we have a different way to express the time. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Give me one sec. Two, two, two. This is too big. Okay, there we go. For example, it is 105. Veíamos también que todos los que van del 1 hasta el 10 lo leemos como O, right? Eh, 701, 702, 703. So we say O. Then, si han pasado apenas un par de minutitos, especialmente antes de los 30, podemos usar la palabra after. It is 5 after 2. It is 5 after. Uh, 10. It is 17 after 8. All right. Uh, we can use a quarter after, a quarter to, right? 20 to 2. So, ¿cuánto falta para la siguiente hora? Right? Especialmente después del 30. So, it is 20 to 2. Faltan 20 para las 2. Right? Uh, son las 8.17. So, I can use uh, this one right here after. It is 17 after 8. It is 8. 17, yeah? And we can also use this other word that is a quarter to two. Son 15 para las dos. It is a quarter to two. So, si decimos para, we can use the word to. Y si decimos después de las, we can definitely use the word after that is in the video. So, uh, help me please with the times that we have in the video. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que podamos escribir como diríamos esa hora. Hay más de una forma, right? Yesterday veíamos eh, formas diferentes de decirlo. Ahora tenemos más. We have different ways de decirlo ahora. So I'll give you like two or three minutes.
Is everybody ready? Do you need more time? Ready, teacher. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Okay, that's good then. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, this one, all right, is very similar to example number one. So what do you have in here? How do we read this time? What time is it? It's three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is three o'clock, exactly. What about the second? What time is it in the second one? Three, five o'clock. So three, five o'clock, five, three, five minutes. Close, three, very five close. Minutes. This is very similar to example number two. Okay, you got it, pero le falta un cosito ahí. Three o five. Very good, yes. Three o five. Uh, so, le vamos a agregar ese o, three o five. Mm -hmm. What about the next? How do we read this one right here? Uh, 15, se pronuncia, verdad? Mm -hmm. 15, after, 15 after 3. Oh, very good. Yes, that's one way. Alguien tiene otra forma? Do you have a different way to read it? It's a quarter after 3. It's a quarter after 3. Very good. Alguien tiene otra forma? 3.15. 3.15, excellent. Otra forma? Okay, the ones you said are good. They eh, are very nice. Yes. Pero también este 15 past of 3 algo así. Yes, exactly. 15 past a 3 or a quarter past 3. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, that's right. Okay, now let's move on, okay? And let's go for the following. How do you read this time? What time is it in here? It is 3.30. 3.30? Okay. Yes, that's one way. Another way? Half past three. Oh, very good. That's another way. Another? Una tercera forma? It's 30 after three. Okay, that's okay. Una cuarta forma? Three and half. Oh, very good. There you go. Exactly. So we have like a lot of different ways de decir lo mismo, right? And that's very important. Now, let's go for the next one. What time is sitting here? 20 to four. 20 to four. Very good. 20 to four. Another way? Three and forty. Yes, very good. That's okay. And there we go. What about the last? What time is sitting here? Teacher sería también 23. Uh, to 4. 20 to 4. Porque faltan 20 para las 4. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. So sería 22 to 4. Yes. It's a quarter to 4. Very good. The last one is a quarter to 4. Yes. Otra forma. Another way. It's 3.45. Very good. Another way? Alguien tiene una forma diferente, yes? 45 after 3. Yes, okay, very good. That's all right. Normalmente el after lo usamos del 1 al 30, right? Y el 2, este que decimos para qué horas falta, lo usamos después del 30. 30, 40, 50, usamos como el número más cercano a Raider. But it's very nice, okay? This is quite good. So let's finish watching this video. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. at night p.m. midnight a.m. let's uh, practice this time expressions now let's listen and repeat it's seven o'clock in the morning it's seven a.m. it's twelve o'clock it's twelve p.m. it's noon 
It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten o'clock at night. It's ten p.m. It's twelve o'clock at night. It's twelve a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, so I will stop the video right here so we can take a look at different ways. Remember, it's como otra forma de decir lo mismo, right? So it, it, if you say one way, that's totally fine. But here we have other expressions. For example, in the morning, noon, right? So cuando decimos eh, en el almuerzo, al mediodía, so noon, right? At noon, it's noon. In the afternoon, okay? In the evening, so then we have at night, okay? And then we have midnight, so in medianoche, right? So it's 12 o'clock at night. So if it's 12 a.m., it's midnight. So it's como lo mismo, but in three different ways. Now the exercise is kind of simple because it's like, vamos a convertir, we are trying to put Tengo these una... words. <coughs> Dígame. Uh, las 12. Las 12 del mediodía, como se dice. Y como se dice, las 12 de la noche. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you, take a look noche. Here, yeah, if you take a look here, this is the opposite. This is 12 o'clock, so it is 12 p.m., and this is noon. I have lunch at noon, okay? I have break at noon. I stop working at noon. At night, when we are talking about later, you know, at night, so it is 12 o'clock at night. It is 12 a.m. or it is midnight. So estos son los contrastes. So we have noon and we have midnight. O sea, no es como aquí que es meridiano. Porque yeah. no hay... No sé, I mean, yes. No, hay you can, meridiano. no usamos la palabra meridiano, but solamente usamos... Eh, well, yeah. usamos la forma corta. Yeah, we use actually the, the short way that is AM and we have PM. So PM is post meridian. So we can use this one. Mm -hmm. So al mediodía sería noon y en la noche es midnight. Para la noche usamos AM y para el mediodía usamos PM. Mm -hmm. Did I confuse you? La confundí un poquito or are we good? No, it's okay. Oh, Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. So everybody, the exercise is kind of simple. Vamos a convertir estas. We are going to kind of uh, try to say this in a different way. Let's say it that way. Yeah, so for example, it says here, it's nine o'clock in the evening. It says evening, puedo hacerlo muy cortito y solamente digo, it's 9 p.m., okay? What about the others? It is eight o'clock, pero it's in the morning. ¿Cómo lo puedo hacer más corto? How can I make it like in a different way? Eight o'clock a.m. I am. Mm -hmm. So it is seven o'clock in the morning. It is seven a.m. Very good. So here, podemos usar lo mismo. It is eight a.m. Something important is, se usa o'clock, no es necesario decirlo otra vez, right? No es necesario a.m. So podemos como omitirlo. It is 7 a.m. It is 7 p.m. No es necesario o'clock. A menos que queremos enfatizar en punto, right? So, les voy a brindar un par de minutitos para que los convirtamos y los podamos decir en una forma diferente, right? Auxiliémonos del ejercicio. So, si tienen 12 o'clock, 
12 p.m. and noon. So it's lo mismo, right? It's exactly the same. So I'll give you some minutes. <coughs> Is everybody ready? Do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo, chicos? I have uh, a question. Okay? Yes, tell me. What's your question? How do you say una de la madrugada? Uh, one a.m. de la madrugada. One a.m. Uh, one a.m. Yeah. or one p.m. I mean, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Solo hay una manera para decir la madrugada. Uh, 1 in the morning, 2 six in the morning. 6 in the afternoon, 6 p.m. Es una in the morning o, o tengo que decir antes de la mañana porque es la madrugada. 
No, in the morning is fine. In you can morning. just say one in the morning. Yeah, I know. En la, nosotros en español tenemos como eso de, en la madrugada. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Usamos más expresiones. Yeah, but sí. in, in the morning is fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Okay, guys, ready? Is everybody ready? Six o'clock, six in the afternoon, six p.m. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, I believe that is kind of a yes. So let, let me let, let's go ahead, okay, and let's take a look at this exercise. So, um, the one that we are supposed to complete is just this one. Give me one second. Let me forward the video. Okay, give me one second. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, there we go. So, um, the one that you are supposed to complete is right here. So, the first one, the first one says it's eight o'clock in the morning. So, you already told me that you can say it is eight a.m. and that's good. What about twelve o'clock at night? ¿Qué podemos usar si digo twelve o'clock at night? Twelve p.m. Midnight. Midnight. Okay. Midnight. Exactly. Twelve p.m. All right. That would be a.m. Actually. Mm -hmm. What about three in the afternoon? Otra forma de decir three in the afternoon. It's three p.m. Very good. There you go. Three a.m. Otra forma de decir three a.m. Three. Three in the morning. Afternoon. Perfect. Three in the morning. Mm -hmm. What about 6 p.m.? What can we, uh, how can we say 6 p.m. in a different way? It's six, it's six at the evening. Very good, exactly. So that's the one. What about four? It is 4 p.m. It is four? It's four in the afternoon. Very good, it is four in the afternoon. And uh, what about 12, 12 p.m.? Is the 12 p.m. Seria? It's noon. 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 Perfect. So we have lunch at noon. Yes. There we go. Okay, guys. Uh, so in the meantime, solo let's go ahead. Let me just move a little bit ahead with the following part. That is just pronunciation. So let me also cover 5.4. That is kind of, sorry, that's 5.5. That is the second objective of today. Mm, give me just a second because my internet is sinking in a lot, I believe. Okay, so the second objective for today is by the end of the class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in just no questions and WH questions. Vamos a practicar especially one question. So let me just go ahead with the following. And let's go with rising and folding intonation. So, normally when we have questions, eh, la pronunciación es bien importante. Okay, so I want you to first watch this video in order to understand de qué se trata intonation, folding, and rising. Give me just a second here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? 
While there are many exceptions and rules to follow, in general we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? Okay, so let me stop right here. Um, why is this very important? Because English is a matter of intonation, okay? So no podemos hablar todo el tiempo así, right? Hello, my name is Julie, I am a teacher. <laughs> so, no hablamos así, we don't talk like that way, not even in Spanish. So this one eh, nos indica como qué tipo de pregunta es, all right? So rising intonation, um, is she getting up? Are you hungry? Okay. Do you live in San Salvador? So rising, okay, it goes all the way up. Fully, WH questions. What time did you get up? Okay, what is she doing? What are they doing? How are you? Okay, so you see like the difference. One goes up and the other goes down, okay? In order to practice this, okay, let's do something. Eh, vamos a crear just no questions, okay, con Birdie, con, que es lo que hemos visto so far. Y vamos a crear también WH questions. Eh, vamos a practicar algo que también se llama, eh, o la pregunta es, what time? ¿A qué horas haces eh, algo? But we are going to do this in a couple of seconds. In the meantime, voy a dividir en dos grupos. I'm going to divide them in a couple of groups. Ok. Y les voy a indicar, I'm going to tell you qué tipo de preguntas van a crear. Ok. So, deme, yeah, we, we do have enough time. Deme un segundito. Give me just a second here. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. So, vamos a crear máximo cinco preguntas. Eh, Angélica. Angélica está por acá. I think she's not. Evelyn. Evelyn Saracay. Sí, teacher, acá. Hola, Miss. Ah, bye. Nice to see you, Miss. So, eh, su grupo va a crear Yes, No Questions. Ok. Eh, Luis Mario. Sí. Luis Mario. Yes. Yes, No sí. Questions también. Ok. El grupo de Gerson. Gerson, van a crear WH Questions. Ok. okay. Significa Falling Intonation. Eh, en el grupo de Glenda, van a crear también WH Questions. Ok. Vamos a practicar... Tres cosas, gramática, vocabulario e intonación, ¿ok? So, everybody, tenemos cinco minutitos, ¿ok? Para poder escribirlas y también practicarlas, ¿ok? Practicar la pronunciación en the questions. So, everybody, go there. Let's go, please. Um, chicos, ¿necesitan ayuda para ingresar? ¿Tienen la invitación? ¿O todavía no? No, todavía no. Mm, vale, déme un segundito entonces. Deme one second y ahorita se las actualizo. Mm, ok, tendrían que estarles apareciendo. Germán, todavía no. 
Le aparece como así en pequeñito, algo que dice join. Se me está con la señal. Vale, se la voy a actualizar ahorita. Denme un segundo. Ok, tendría que aparecerle por ahí. Angélica también tendría que aparecerle por ahí. Uh, si tienen dificultades con el internet, no se preocupe. En, mientras tanto, puede empezar a crear las preguntas.
Thanks everybody for coming back. Give me just one minute. Algunos todavía están en los groups. So, but they will be here in one second. Teacher, yo me incorporé tarde. Hello? Yo oh, me no. Tarde. Okay. Yeah, give me one second. Ya le tomo asistencia nuevamente. Gracias. Para que no se me quede fuera. Ok, um, so guys, ¿completaron algunas preguntas? ¿Were you able to complete a couple of them? Yes. 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 Ok, ok, ok. Very oh. nice. Tiene un segundo. Give me just one second here. Ok. Eso, antes de, de revisar las preguntas con ustedes, solamente déjenme pasar asistencia rapidito para que nadie se me quede fuera, right? So, eh, Claudia está. Edgardo está por acá. Edgardo. Edwin. Evelyn Saracay. A Evelyn la vi hace un par de segunditos. Francisco. Gerardo. Present. Gracias, Gerardo. Sí. José Naum, creo que acabo de ver a José Naum también. Carla Marcela. Mirma. Nelson. Creí haber visto a Nelson. Present chair. I am present? Nelson. Thank I am Nelson. Nelson. Present. Un segundito que escucho el bastante sonido. Eh, Sara Elisa, Sara está por acá. Silvia, sí, había Silvia. Eh, Present. Gracias, Sara. Present. Gracias, Sara. Ok, yes. ok, everybody. So, thank you so much. Um, so, in the meantime, tenemos dos minutitos. Eh, do you have any sentence for me? Sí. Yes, sí. Ah, ok, gotcha, José. No, no se preocupe, ahorita lo anoto. I will uh, take notes of that right here. Ok, so, me ayuden con algunos ejemplos, please. ¿Qué preguntas tienen? What questions were you able to complete? Yes, Where is your car? Where is your car? Ok, very good. Who is the new student in the English class? Very good. Who is the new student? Mm -hmm. What time Who is, is the birthday boy? Perdón? Who is the birthday boy? Who is the birthday boy? Okay, that's okay. That's a good one. Any other? Where do your parents live? Where do your parents live? Okay, that's okay. Any other? Working at night. Are you working at night? Yes, that's a very good sentence. Any other sentence, guys? When is your birthday? Where is Cecilia cooking? Where is Cecilia cooking? Uh huh. When Where is Yes, Mario. Where do you live? Where do you where, live? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What else? Okay. What about yes, no questions? Any other yes, no question? Remember que es un rising intonation. Entonces es como para arriba, right? Where do you live? Mm -hmm. So we go up. Any other? Mary? Is she wearing a dress? Is she wearing a dress? Very good. Any other what, yes, no question? What is your age? What is your age? It has a bajo. Mm -hmm. What is your age? Any other? Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, Herman. Sí, I sure, know. I don't know what's going on. 
Sí, señor, I want. I have one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? Excellent question. That's a very good one. Okay, everybody. So thank you so much for your time today. Unfortunately, our time is over. Okay. So les agradezco eh, que ya estamos avanzando bastante en la plataforma. Y si podemos terminar mañana, that would be super good. Así ya no estamos con ese pendiente, right? Gracias por su participación, por your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. See you tomorrow, everybody. And have a really good night. Enjoy your dinner. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher.